Hello everyone, another how-to video. So I'm gonna show you how to check your prop shaft and see if it's bent. So this weekend I was out on uh, Lake Okeechobee. The water levels are a lot lower now, they're at 14 foot. So be careful you go out there, I'll make a separate video of how, how to navigate safely th uh, through Okeechobee right now. Well, uh, I went to take off in one of my spots and the, the bottom was rock. So now um, I got a new prop on here. I've, I've added a new one. I bent the ear tips on my uh, other prop. I sent that off. Uh, I take it and send it off through uh, Alla Palms off to Tampa to get it fixed. So I put the new one on there. So now what I have to check is uh, if the prop shaft is bent. So you'll see there's a little hole right here in the middle of your prop shaft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this uh, prop around and I'm gonna check and see if that, that uh, hole moves up and down or around. Uh, if I have any wobble in it, I'll know that my sh prop shaft is bent. Also another way to check it is down the side of the uh, lower unit where the prop meets the uh, lower unit, there's a gap. You'll see a little bit of wobble in that gap. That's the two ways to check. So I'm going to give it a spin and let's see what we got. So what I'm seeing now is just very minute. It's a little small up and down movement. So it's, it's barely bent. I did bend it. What concerns me right now is what else went on inside uh, inside the actual lower unit. Did I mess up some of the other components in there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Alla Palms, go ahead and get them to get me a lower unit on order. And then I'll do an insurance claim on it because I did hit something. Uh, let's look on the side and see what you have as well. So let's look at this gap, see if we see a little bit of wobble. And again, you can see a little bit of wobble there as well. So uh, that's what we're looking for uh, whenever you're checking. That's the quick way to check to see if your uh, prop shaft is bent. Um, it's hard to tell without the prop on there. You actually can see a little bit better with the actual prop on. And again, uh, if you have any questions or uh, concerns, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.